hey, do not delete a blurry picture. There's a way you can recover that. Stay to the end of the video and I will show you how to do it. All right, here we are with this photograph. I will be testing using this picture, the super sharp AI enhancement that um, Luminar Neo has announced they have included in this new release. And the reason I want to um, test uh, this uh, extension is because um, I shot this photograph using the same phone. I'm recording myself using my cell phone. The, I shot this photograph with this very same phone. And this is one of those pictures that mm, probably uh, you will might have the same type of situation. This was shot uh, on a trip uh, we did back in December 2022 to Gijón in the province of Asturias here in Spain. There's my, my wife and I there, and then that girl is the tour girl. She was the tour guide and she was excellent. I mean, I mean she's very professional, have a tremendous knowledge of the place, and we wanted to have a selfie with her. And uh, it was starting to rain, and um, you know, I just pulled out the cell phone, put it in front of us, popped the picture, and didn't you know check it. So when I went back to the hotel and checked the photograph, man, it was out of focus, blurry, and I don't know. I will not have a second chance. I mean, the girl is gone. The scene is gone. Everything is gone. So maybe you have that same type of situation that you want to find a way to rescue a photograph like this. And I think that uh, Lumiar Nia has, I think, uh, done a great job in providing an extension, a tool, at least for trying. You know, it's not perfect. I won't, I'm not saying that it will recover all details, but I think it might do uh, a great job. So without further ado, let's get straight to the photograph here in the computer. But before that, let me check. And for the ones that are new to Luminar Neo, maybe don't know why this happens. I want to switch to the catalog and check the settings of the photograph. If you check in this area over here, you will see that the shooter speed of this photograph was shot at 1 33rd of a second. That shooter speed is very slow. So in other words, um, you know, any slight movement of the camera will end up in a blurry picture like this one over here. The only thing I will do here before applying the super sharp AI tool is to crop this photograph. So I will switch to crop. I will click on, maybe I will use the, this aspect ratio, yes, I think it's okay, like this. And then I will click apply. So I'm fine, I'm fine with the crop. Now it's time to use the super sharp AI tool. And this is the tool here, I will click on that one. And another cool thing that Luminar Neo has included in this update is this information icon in here. So what this information icon does is um, it show you, shows you, you know, what the tool does. And also if you want to learn more, you can click on the learn more button here and it will take you to the website and give you uh, more details of the tool and how it works. So in this case, the problem I have is this, right? So blurred images by camera movement during exposure. That's the problem I have. And the other problem I have is this, um, you know, I want to make the face clear, you know, in blurry photos. So th these two are the ones I'm looking for. So I will close this and I will go back to Luminar Neo and then I will change the universal to motion blur. And I also I want to take on the face enhancer. Now, this tool takes a while, a minute or two. I'm using a, a Windows PC and it takes a while. Um, and for not having you guys just sitting there watching the computer spin, I will execute the extension. And when it's done, I will come back. I will click on high because I have, I mean, I have a way fuzzy picture here. So I will click on high and see what it does. Okay, so I will do that right now. And then when it's done, I will come back. All right, here we have the photograph. I think you have done a great job. You see this? If I click the before and after, it's really amazing. This artificial intelligence is really great. 
and I can still fine tune this area more. Let me do something here. I will click on details now. I'm, I'm changing to a new a tool and I will increase the small details. See how the eyes, her eyes become more sharp and medium details. A little bit of sharpening. Maybe it's too much in the other areas like here, but I can erase that. Or in other words, I can just paint uh, where I want the effect to be. But in this case, I will um, erase it from the other subjects, right? So the way I will do that is I will click on masking, select the brush, make sure I'm using erase. The strength is around 50 is okay. And then I will, I will erase from here and from here just to soften the faces a little bit. And now we'll keep the full power of this adjustment on her face. Maybe erase it from this area in here because I don't want that to be there. Yes, okay. Now look, look at her eyes. Before, after, before, after. So the combination of the Super Sharp AI tool extension plus um, this detail a tool is, is doing the job really great. Now from here, I can do more things. Probably I, I will now move to the face AI tool. And over here, I will switch to eyes, right? No, face light, no. <laughs> I think it's there, but eyes. And I will do the improve eyebrows. Why? Because they, they are real, you know, kind of strange. But if I do improve eyebrows, it fix that. And I will do uh, eye enhancer just to recover that. And some of the lip saturation and redness. And now we have this photograph. Look. From here to here. I think it's really awesome. Great job, Illuminar Neo. I mean, Skylum team is doing it really, really, really good. They are listening to the feedback, they are testing, they are, you know, having this neuro thing, this artificial thing, learning a lot and is helping us photographers to actually enhance our photographs. Look, so there you have it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about this tool. Uh, this new release uh, is version 1.10.0. So, and, and if you want to check the program, I'm leaving a, a, a link in the description of the video. Also, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel, hit the like, also the bell, and share the content. I think this is all about sharing content with others. Maybe people that have the same uh, uh, hobbies like you, like photography, and have pictures that they want to recover. Maybe this is one, one of the things that they can use. This is one of the softwares that they can use. So. Again, guys, thank you very much for watching the video, and I see you in the next straight-to-the-point tutorials. God bless you all. Bye-bye.